Sologenics initiates phase two clinical trial of SGX302 synthetic hyperacin for the treatment of mild to moderate psoriasis. Here to walk us through this and give us the Reader's Digest version of what's going on here is Dr. Chris Pullian, the medical director at Sologenics. Chris, thank you for joining us here today. Give us the 411. Hi, yes, Michael. Good to be uh, with you again. Um, Basically, what this does is uh, we're announcing that we've opened the clinical trial that we've talked uh, in some detail about with you previously uh, in psoriasis at um, our clinical site. The first clinical site is out in San Diego with Dr. Neil Bhatia, Therapeutics Clinical Research. Um, the patient, the study is now live and open to enroll patients. So shortly here, we'll be getting our patients into the clinical trial and they'll begun um, that psoriasis study. Perfect. So I guess when can people expect to hear more about this or walk us through the next steps on a timeline scale? Sure, sure. So the next steps are basically, you know, Dr. Bhatti and the rest of his team will go about telling the patients that he has on his study that they're open to enroll. They'll recruit patients. They are already actively screening patients. So it could be any day that uh, that we get patients enrolled into this trial. Um, the study itself is designed to be 18 weeks in duration. Uh, it's 42, up to 42 patients will be enrolled into this trial. Um, it's important to note that this is the same um, compound, synthetic hypericin, that we just um, completed our submission for the new drug application with the FDA in. Mm -hmm. um, the staff at this location is already familiar with this therapy. They participated in the positive uh, phase three flash study in synthetic hypericin. And here what they're doing is basically a very similar treatment regimen in that the patients are coming in two times a week. Um, they're applying an ointment onto their skin, onto the topical lesions that they have where their psoriasis disease is, and then they're exposing it to visible light. The study staff is already familiar with this because it's, again, very similar in a treatment modality to what they did in the positive phase three study. Mm -hmm. um, so after we enroll the, the 42 patients in the study, uh, we analyze the data and we you know, basically let the world know what we found out there. Perfect, Chris. Well, this sounds like another milestone for Sologenics and everybody. We hope you continue along the journey. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to send them over to the team. But Chris, any closing words before we go? No, just uh, I would echo that, Michael. This is very exciting for us. I mean, this is a it's a logical next step in the treatment uh, for these patients. It's a logical next step in the advancement of this uh, unique compound. Uh, as a as a scientific team, we're very excited. Uh, to be pursuing this and to be studying this. And we have some great partners that we're doing it with. So uh, I'm happy uh, to be doing this, happy to be closing it out and getting it done before the end of the year. Um, and as you know, the psoriasis uh, patient population is a very large patient population. Um, so this has the potential to have a pretty significant impact out there. Um, and I'd just like to say thank you to you and thank you to everybody watching. I hope you all have a happy holiday season. Wonderful. Very well said. Thank you for coming on, Chris. And I echo that back to you and to everyone watching. Please have a happy holidays. I'll see you all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed in 2023. All right. Thank you, Michael.